Hi and welcome to Pavement Layers. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to create a proposal. On the dashboard you're, there's two options to create a proposal. You're either going to create one for a client you already have or you're going to create one for a new client. If it's a new client you or someone in your office will need to add all of their information. If it's an existing client all you need to do is click existing client and find the client. For this example, let's go ahead and use CB Richard Ellis. Here's CB Richard Ellis. Once you find your client, as we showed earlier, you're going to go to Actions and add a proposal. When you add a proposal button, you have a title for the proposal that you can change to anything you want or use something that we selected for you. For this one, we're going to use Pavement Maintenance and Beautification Process Proposal. The project name here is called Cincinnati Art Museum. And the address here is very important because this gives you driving directions and everything else for the project. For this, we use 123 Main Street, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45202. And all you do is simply click Next. Now we're on the page where you pick and choose your proposals. This area here shows you all of your options. Of course, you can edit this and call these items here anything you want. This is a category that we give you, and this is you, where you can identify and change anything you like. If you want to call this pavement overlay versus new asphalt pavement overlay, you'd go to my account and change it. So you can see here, we preload this with many different options to help you write a pretty quick, concise, precise bid. In this particular case, let's go ahead and choose New as Asphalt Pavement Overlay and simply click Next. Initially, everything on the right is a specification that you agreed with earlier under My Account and you put in. Everything on the left here, we're going to go ahead and complete a proposal. Let's do 10,000 square yards. I'm going to do 18 tons of leveling. I'm going to do a 2 inch depth of paving. No parking blocks. We'll do it in one trip. And the price is $115,000. And all you now simply do is come down and you'd click Finish to complete this. You can add and change any of the specifications here at any time by clicking it. And this is only a one time change. Repeat. You can change anything here on the fly, but only one time. In this particular case, there are no parking blocks, so I'm going to simply take the parking block item here and just click simply hit remove. If I wanted to add any text at all on the fly, I can do so here. Anything you want to right you can and all you do is simply add the text and then click finish. You'll notice once you upload your proposal that item it shows up right here on the right hand side. So we have a new pavement overlay. Let's finish this off with some line striping and again we have a couple different services here. Let's just go ahead and say line stripe this portion and it's going to be $920. Once again you have some items here. You can see we did a demo. We can remove this. And if we're okay with this, we're not seal coating, we can remove this too. And simply click Finish. Now you'll see we have pavement overlay and line striping. At any time, you can rotate the order by clicking on the arrow and moving this. On an iPad or any other device, it'll work the same way. We might as well go ahead and add a little bit of prepave repair to this. Let's go ahead and add some prepave repair to this as well. And we can add some milling. We'll click next. And once again, let's do 200 square yards of 2 inch mill. And the price is 4500. Important to note you never need to add a comma or a dollar sign to anything on the field entry on the left hand side. Let's click finish at this location. And now you'll see the milling is put in here as well. 
So let's go ahead and tidy this up a little bit. We're going to mill first. We're going to do some paving, and then we'll do line striping. So these are the three items from the specifications. Now, proposal settings is going to show you you preset your payment terms for 30 days. For this client, if we want to make it 10 days, simply change it here on the fly and click Change Payment Terms, and it'll be adjusted for each of the clients. Customize payment term text. This is if you want to change your text one time on the fly for the client or contract copy, same thing. We give you the choice if you want to change this one time, you can change it here as well. We'll get into proposal images. We already talked about attachments. Attachment is everything you would upload as a PDF. So we can simply put in insurance, workers comp, and references. And let's go ahead and put in a brochure for Gem Seal. If you click attachments, minus and close, it closes it up. Custom content text, we went through this as well. This is where you'd put in your contract terms, where you can put in seal coding specifications, paving, whatever the case may be. Let's go ahead and include the repair. And you'll notice now it's included in the proposal. So each of these items down here we'll get into later, but click them, play with them. You'll see they're pretty easy to work with. The layouts we're continuing to improve on. We have two layouts. One we clearly call cool, and the second one is standard. If you want to look at and take a preview of your proposal, and this is a little bit different if you're on a Mac or a PC, but in general, your proposal will show up in the body as well as a simple PDF that looks like this. You'll now see payment, maintenance, and beautification process, which we can change, identifying who the customer is on the contact. We have the project name. We have your logo. We have the About Us section. We have a simple but precise proposal. We have a price breakdown. We have contract information for each, the customer, as well as you. We have all the details here as well. All of your attachments will show up as a link. So anything you have will show up as a very simple link, which is really helpful. So you can see at any time now, you can go back and edit the proposal, or you can quickly send, click a button here, send an email, and you can identify immediately, click send. You can come in here and add more items if you want. Add anything else you want. Anything else you want, you can add in here and send. And once we send this, it begins the process of tracking. So this concludes a video on how to create a proposal as well as how to add things to the proposal. And remember that at any point in time, when you go to Proposals and click Edit, you can come in here and edit anything on the fly. You can change this proposal to 300 yards. And you can take the price up to $9,000. So in less than a second or so, we change the proposal. And now, in a second, we went from Milling Repair, which we'll take a peek at here, you can see that we changed it from 200 to 300 yards, changed the price specifically to milling, and we also changed the price in the price breakdown and recap. This concludes how to set up and start the whole proposal process. We're going to dive deeper into how to add images and other things in a later tutorial. Thank you very much and have a great day.